what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel we've got a review and guess what it's the glitch everybody knows that Simon hop trains real right I've got two glitches here I got one just regular neutron plastic one uh, hybrid catch disc then I've got a special edition they both pretty much feel the same so I think it's just the same maybe i don't know what plastic this would be but these are all lightweight i don't know if they made any heavyweight ones or not but this one is 144 this one's 152 so a uh, little profile for you here very uh uh pole caddy not quite as pole cat feeling it feels a little bit better than a pole cat in hand to be honest um the flight numbers for this are an interesting flight number it's a one speed but it's also a seven glide and a zero turn and a zero fade. So that's a heavy amount of glide for a one speed. So who knows, maybe, you, I mean, I guess it technically probably is a one speed. It feels like a Frisbee, basically just a, a, a high quality Frisbee is what it feels like. Simon says he already loves this disc. It's staying in his bag from what, I, what his uh, video was the other day. So we're gonna see how it flies. We're gonna do first throws with the glitch. I'm going fan grip hyzer. Wow. Okay. I threw these once right before and it actually held a hyzer. That one surprised me. I'm gonna put this on more hyzer and a little less power. Holy cow, I thought that was going in. So like I'm going to say, that first one really surprised me. It flipped up a lot. Who knows, it could, could be from the cars that ran it over twice in a row. Uh, but it's a very easy throwing disc, already out of hand, very polecat-like, but I do like the way it feels better than a polecat, so I like it. Okay, so after those first, uh, or those second throws there, there's people, there was people just randomly on the course, so I just kind of silently threw. They were just walking all over the place, so I was trying to go as fast as possible. I'm gonna take these on any lines, like this uh, basket here off the whole floor. These things do have good glide, I will say that. Pretty nice. Like I said, I kind of like the way these feel better than a polecat and they fly basically like a polecat. They have really good glide. Like, it doesn't take much for them to go. It's just they are pretty angle sensitive you need to have really good angle control if you're going to throw them on different lines but uh it's positive it's a good disc okay so what i'm going to do on this one now i'm going to try to still i've been throwing fan grip on these and i probably will for every shot still going to go fan grip i'm going to try to throw it kind of hard on hyzer and just see if i can get it to flip up and go to the right like i did on the first throw with this one Kind of, but I think that was a little bit of a roll as well. Let's try to do this one better. A little bit more height, that could have actually been what I was trying to do, 
but still, I, hopefully you can see that one. It was way left. I keep releasing that one left and the other one I'm pulling more, so. I think that's just me doing it. It's not anything to do with the two different discs. All right, so we're on to the next throws. We're gonna try to throw straight at this basket again. Uh, just trying to throw straight shots with these right now. Necessarily straight. It's weird trying to figure out the angle of release I need with this and the power. Because, like that one, will do that a lot, and the white one will kind of, if I throw it too hard, might be because the white one's 144 grams and that one's 152, so a little bit lighter. Oh, they fly good, but I'm having a hard time figuring out the exact flight for longer shots. All right, so we are on to probably the last couple throws with these glitches. There's not much more to test, so I'm not gonna overdo it with these. I am gonna try to throw these on really steep hyzers and high and try to be pure with my release and see how the white one flies. I know the blue one will hold the hyzer. I mean, it flipped up and went straight, then just barely came out right at the end. Let's try that with this blue one now, see if it changes. I mean, the blue one just in general seems like it holds that line a little bit easier. Like I said, who knows? I threw the white one one time before I started filming and went in the road and then two cars rode, like ran over it right in a row. Maybe that just beat it in immediately as soon as I got it. But uh, the white one does seem to flip up straighter. So uh, one thing that I use polecats for, the reason I bag it, is for when I get in situations where I can't throw a forehand out and I need that easy uh, like wrist flick, Annie uh, that flies kind of like a forehand so I can get close to the basket. I'm going to simulate that behind this basket. Let's see if I can execute the same shot. from like 60 to almost 100 feet. Pretty easy with a little wrist flick right there where you don't have to do a full throw. Very useful for me at least. I think that's pretty good for that glitch. But the glitch is pretty good. I feel like it could easily be a replacement for a polecat. It is a little bit more comfortable in hand. It has tons of glide. I feel like it could potentially be more throwable off of a tee than a polecat. Just cause the polecats kind of feel funny in hand to me, but I, they fly nice. But utility wise, I think you could get the exact same shots out of a glitch as you can a polecat. So whichever one you think fits your game the best, then try it. But if you can't get your hands on a glitch, it's basically like a polecat, like just feels better. So, I mean, that's all we got. Hopefully you all enjoyed this review let me know what you think of the glitch let me know what you think about simon moving to mvp 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 and uh if you're interested in the new disc he's going to be putting out because evidently he's getting a line of discs so means more reviews for me that's all we got guys till next time peace